This instructional film shows you how to use the SKF shaft alignment tool, TKSA20, to help you create shaft misalignment. As much as 50% of premature bearing failures are the result of shaft misalignment, which can also cause shaft fatigue, sealing problems, vibration, overheating and excessive energy consumption. The SKF shaft alignment tool, TKSA20, allows almost anybody to quickly and easily align shafts at a truly affordable price. Let's see how the TKSA20 is used in practice. First, spend a few moments to study the quick start guide to familiarize yourself with the TKSA20. Before aligning the shafts, make sure that the machine is in a safe condition in accordance with local regulations. Attach the measuring units to the shafts. The S unit is mounted on the stationary machine. Tighten the chain by hand. And finally, tighten using the Tommy bar. The M unit is mounted on the movable machine, usually the motor, in the same manner as the S unit. Next, the M and S cables have to be connected to the display unit. Arrange the cables so they do not foul the machine. Pay attention to the markings on the cable and on the unit. Connect the M cable to the M socket. And the S cable to the S socket. Turn the display unit on. and adjust the laser lines to the centre of the detector. Fine adjustments can be made by using the fine adjustment wheel. Measure the machine dimensions using a tape measure. First measure the distance between the measuring units. This is the A distance. Use the plus and minus buttons to adjust the value and confirm by using the next button. The B value now needs to be measured. The B value is the distance from the centre of the movable machine measuring unit to the front foot of the motor. Enter the value into the display unit and confirm. Finally, the C value needs to be measured. The C value is the distance between the motor feet. Enter the value into the display unit and confirm. The display indicates to move the measuring units to the nine o'clock position. The spirit levels help you to get to the right position. Once at nine o'clock, press the next button. The display indicates to move the measuring units to the three o'clock position. Move the measuring units to the three o'clock position. and then press next. The display shows a live horizontal motor misalignment, both coupling and feet values. It is recommended to correct the vertical alignment first. Move the display units to the 12 o'clock position and the display shows a live vertical motor misalignment values.
check the values against the tolerance values provided. Select the shims required to make the vertical correction. The F1 values refer to the front feet correction and the F2 values refer to the back feet correction. Loosen all the motor support bolts to allow the motor to be positioned. Lift the motor and shim the front feet and bend the back feet as required. The display unit shows your progress. The machine is now aligned in the vertical plane. To perform the horizontal alignment correction, move the measuring units to the 3 o'clock position. The live horizontal motor misalignment values are shown under the display unit. The alignment is out of tolerance. The motor needs to be moved horizontally. The back of a display unit indicates the movement direction. Move the motor carefully until the readings on the display unit are in tolerance. Once completed, carefully tighten the motor bolts. Press the back button twice and repeat the alignment procedure, measuring at 9, 3, and 12 o'clock. On the CD-ROM in the tool case, you can find a PDF of the alignment report that you can print out yourself. Using the value shown on the display unit, complete the alignment report. Do this for both the horizontal and vertical alignment. The machine has now been aligned and the process documented. SKF not only offers shaft alignment tools, but a comprehensive range of shims, supplied loose and in cases. For more information on these products and a complete range of SKF maintenance tools and lubrication products, contact your local SKF authorised distributor or visit mapro.skf.com.